Okay, so this next step, as I've mentioned, could be optional. This is if you want to delete the images once they've been replaced. So we need to go to the image Ajax file. And we're going to run what is called the unlink function. Uh, it's a funny name, but that's actually what you use to delete files with PHP. Uh, files and folders, that is. And because of that, you need to be very, very careful when you use this. It is very possible to accidentally delete an entire folder and its contents if this isn't done correctly. So the first step we need is to get the file name. And where and when we do this is uh, very important on this document. We need to run this query to get that file name before the update query happens. Otherwise, we're going to end up getting the new file name, which doesn't do us any good, and it's going to end up deleting the file that we just uploaded. So that doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this block of code here and paste it up here, and let's change out this query. So we'll just do select avatar from users where ID is equal to ID. So then now we need to get that file name. We'll just call this old equals mysqli underscore fetch associ and send it the result. And there we go. Now we have the file name to delete. So now we need to run this unlink function. So let's come down here and do that inside this if, because we're going to use some of these variables we've already set up here. So let's put in an unlink here and close that. And now again, don't run this until we're ready. Now unlink takes one mandatory parameter, and that would be the path and the file name that we want to delete. So let's take advantage of something we've already created here. So let's call this delete file equals target path dot old avatar. So you might think we could just run this now. But this is one of those cases where you could end up accidentally deleting the folder and everything in it. Because if, say, this was run on a user who's been created, but there's no avatar in there yet. So when this first query runs to get the file name to replace, it's going to be empty. So then when we run this unlink function, we're going to be sending it just the folder name without a file at the end of it which would basically say delete this folder. So to make sure that we only delete the file, what we can do is if and then old avatar is not equal to an empty string, then that could work. Um, but let's just go ahead and take some extra steps here. And let's use a function that's called is directory or is dir and make sure that the path that we are about to send it has a file name on it and it's not a directory so we do an if and then we'll use the explanation point to say is not a directory so if explanation point is underscore dir and then for the parameter do delete file so there you go, we have some extra protection there. I cannot stress enough how careful you need to be here though, because deleting an entire folder and its contents could totally be devastating to whatever project you're working on. So let's test this out. And to do that, we're gonna to need to kind of pay attention to our file names here. So we'll just use uh, Justin Gilson's user and let's drag an image in here for him and we'll see what the image name is for this one. Okay, now if we come in here and replace this image with something else, and it's a success, then the image that was just created previous to this should be deleted from this folder. Um, now we need to fix this container issue really quick. Nothing got loaded, and that's because the div didn't exist we need to move that outside of the uh, if because that load method tries to run and there's no div then it's not going to work